a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. Hi, I'm Andrea Pittman from Dallas, Texas. Uh, just graduated with a marketing degree. I'm starting to have to get a little serious and find a job. I really enjoy playing volleyball with girlfriends. We get out in the sand and the sun and then our bathing suit tops and spend hours out there. It's a lot of fun. I want a guy who's going to be just as fun, spirited, spontaneous. He's going to be fit and tone, like to keep their body in shape. If he can make me laugh, then he'll win my heart for sure. A limited. is the perfect spot for this day. You've got the waterfalls, the green grass, the beautiful flowers in the water. It's like a faraway land that Texans don't even dream about. In anticipation of the date, I am a little nervous, so the first meeting is going to be big for me. One of the ways I would try to win over a girl's heart is just to try to knock down all the walls of defense with a little sense of humor. My name is Cody Hendricks. I'm a school teacher. I'm Cody. Cody, hi, Andrea. Andrea, nice, it's nice, to, meet nice you. to meet you too. He seemed really nice. Um, a little more timid though, a little shy. That's cute. I was, uh, I was pretty smitten when I first saw her. My game plan is basically to have her isolated, share with her experiences they've had, speak to her in different languages, intrigue her with the person that I am. Hi, my name is Steve Bruff. I'm in international sales with a specialization down in Latin America. Oh, hello. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Andrea. Steve, nice to meet Steve, you. Steve, nice to meet you. Beautiful, striking green eyes. I really like it. I'm country, I'm all, I'm pure country. I'm not going to kind of run her down until she can't breathe anymore and make her go out with me. You know, so I'm just going to kind of stand back. My name is Josh Crow, and uh, I wrote cast professionally. Hi. I'm Josh. Josh, nice to meet you. Andrea. Nice to meet you, Andrea. He seemed like he was ready to have a good time. I could tell he had a smile on his face, and uh, he was excited. So that was good to see. My biggest love in life is music, definitely. My name is Tio, and I'm a flamenco guitarist. Well, hello. They didn't say you were beautiful. Well, wow. Nice to meet you. I'm hey, Andrea. Andrea Tio. Tio. Nice to meet you. Tio, did I get it right? Yeah. He was crazy. I like his personality. She had a great smile and gorgeous, and she was very receptive. It was great. None of you have been to Hawaii? Never been. No? Never. No. no. So, what about the beach? Have you seen the beach before? Only in Spain. I've lived in Spain for two years. And I've uh, studied Latin American culture. I'm a flamenco guitarist. Brazil, oh. Uruguay, Peru, Argentina. I thought a way to trump the international side of Tio was to say, well, you know, besides Spain, I've been to Chile, Peru, Argentina. I think she probably was maybe a little impressed with the fact that I'd been to all these different places. Steven, he, he seems like a Texas guy. I mean, I'm from Texas, but I've dedicated myself to the Latin American culture. How about you, Josh? No, I got a few ponds where I'm from. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if I've got everybody's right now. Toy? Tio. Tio. Okay, Tio, Josh, Cody, and Steve, yeah. right? Okay. He didn't much like it, I don't think, because he corrected me immediately. All right, so we've got an event planned for everybody. So, ready? After you. Right off the bat, I've decided to have the four guys hike up some lava rocks where I'm going to have them jump off the cliffs here at the Sheraton Black Rock. It's a loose rock, bro. Right here. What, this one? No, Tito's fixing to get on it. Tito, Tio, man, Tio. We didn't lose Tito. one, did we? Tio. 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 All right, guys. At least it's better than toys, what you call it. Here we are. Everybody's shirts off, shorts on, shoes off, ready to jump. Immediately, Cody took his off. He's got a great body and he works out. He's all tan and he really looks good. Teo. Teo. Was a little smaller, didn't work out much. I'm a personal trainer as well. I've got my certifications and everything. Figure out how who's going to go first. I'll go first. Okay. Oh, hey, I yeah, like that. No. Taking the lead. Get your head on the board. Woo! Good form. I don't have time to change my shorts, so here it is. I was kind of wondering what his, what his plan of attack was on getting up to the rock and then changing. I'm wearing pants, which most Latin guys do. Three, two, one. It is bellissima. I'm doing this for you, okay? When Tio blew her kiss in Spanish, I thought no big deal, really. I can do the same thing in Portuguese and Spanish many other languages. You know, 
I don't know what Theo's hiding under his pants. That's the first time I've ever seen anybody jump off a cliff in blue jeans in Hawaii. I actually feel more comfortable this way in pants. And uh, it's, it's more of a Latin thing. Okay, Josh, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Figured it me. <laughs> I'll take that. All right. I'm jumping. I'm not really a water guy. I mean, I'll get in the water and swim a little bit. But like I told her, you know, we got a few ponds and stuff. They're not about eight, 10 feet deep. I think he was just ready to get off the rocks, so he jumped. I just wanted to survive, that's what I was going to do. Got a present for you. Look May at I? this. <laughs> Please. Um, something to remember this trip. Wow. I wanted to give that to her up there by ourselves. You know, let everyone kind of be macho and jump off first was definitely uh, part of my strategy. I could have done that. I could have brought my CD up to the top and gave her my CD and autographed it for her. Yeah. See ya. God, this girl's beautiful. She's awesome. Gorgeous. She's a very attractive person. Here we go, buddy. After cliff diving, I had a picnic prepared right here on the beach. I don't even know what all of you do, or your stories, or where you're from exactly. So Let's start with you, Steve. I work with phone uh, systems for phone companies. And so i lucky to go down to Chile or Brazil, Argentina. I've uh, lived down in Buenos Aires for about the last two years, as well as Lima, Peru. He was actually forcing the issue of that's what he's done. And I really don't have to do that because that's what I do all week long. Ya lo sé que puedo hablar español. Ya lo sé que toco la música latina. I know that I speak Spanish. I know that I, I, I play Spanish music. And that's what I've dedicated my life to. Tio. Tio. Tio, such an interesting name. From, Let's see. Is there, is there an explanation behind Tio? Yeah, kind of, sort of. But uh, I have to make it to the next round before I tell you. Oh, it's that's not your real name. But. No. Are we, can you please bless us with the real name? There's no way. No, no, Come actually, on. no, no, no. Give it up. I don't know, maybe he's got a silly name or maybe he just likes to be known as Tio and nothing else. I called him Tito. I thought it was like Tito the dog or whatever. Actually in Spain, Tio means uh, dude or guy. Tio uh, in Spanish means uncle. Dude. ¿Qué pasa Tio or mire este Tio? Me llamo Tio, soy de España. Well, let's move on over. Cody, tell me your story. Uh, I'm a school teacher. <laughs> what do you teach? Be special education. Really? Neat. Josh, I didn't get a chance. Oh, hey, I'm Did. sorry. Scout. It's the past three years I've rodeo professionally. So you're a true cowboy. Mm -hmm, so to speak. You know what? I'm a cowboy at heart as well. I grew up in Tyler, Texas, which is a very small town. Hey, wait a minute. Yes. Don't you have a guitar? Yeah, I got Bring it. that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> just listen. Let's hear something. I'd love to hear something. Can you play something for me? I can't just unload my horses and throw a few calves out here on the beach and rope and show her my talent, you know? But I'm glad he can. Oh, great. That's gritty. Real gritty. When Cody picked up the coconut and started playing, I think he definitely took the spotlight away from Tio. Cody coming in and singing, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Coming up, who will Andrea cut first? Right now, I think it's anybody's ball game. The person who'll get the axe this round, unfortunately, be Josh. I think he has a lot to bring to the table, but he just never really brought a lot of it out. Just depending on first impressions and then what I've known, got to see in the guys here, would probably be Tia. I would pick myself, actually, because I don't want to be cocky. A limited. <laughs> Who do you think Andrea will eliminate first? Josh, Cody, Tio, or Steve? Here we are after the events, and you all know the name of the game. It's a limit date, so I'm sorry, Steve. Oh. You were the sweetest man to give me the necklace and everything, but I just saw little differences in our personalities. And I'm glad you're enthusiastic about your job and everything, but I just thought that you kind of went on a little too much about that and your travels. And, and plus, Ouch. when I have a guy, I really need him to be home with me all the time. I think my initial reaction is just pure shock. Uh, I uh, really thought I was 
doing a lot better with her than I actually was. I think he was kind of bummed out, man, because he came out with the with the big guns, man, from the beginning. I do apologize, though. Okay. So now the rest of us are gonna head on the boat. So we'll head this way. And get on the boat. Good luck. See you, buddy. See you guys. All right, guys, you made it. girls that I've dated beforehand, they've gotten to go on these travels with me, so uh, I think she made a mistake. So next we are going to get on the sailboat, you know, just uh, drink a little, eat a little, and kind of just hang out. Well, cheers to uh, not getting eliminated. Congratulations. Right. <laughs> just seeing the wind blow through Andrew's hair, uh, Turned my butter. <laughs> Josh and Cody decided not to drink because they're not drinkers. Tio was uh, definitely enjoying the wine a little bit. Uh, I don't think he, he put the bottle down for very long. Well, I, I'm not, not shy, man. I'm not shy at all. Drinking that kind of stuff that much on a empty stomach sure causes you to, you know, get a little tipsy, I guess. If they were looking at me like I'm drinking too much, I'm, that's a very, you know, that's very judgmental. I guess one thing that stood out to me on the boat ride is I played out the role in the Titanic and uh, leaned up against the front of the boat to see who would jump up and be my Leo. Ah! Yeah, I have to have the Leo thing, you know? Just to hold it. Oh, so the guy, like, you have to recreate the whole thing. Like, stands up. That's how it goes. Immediately, Cody jumped up and took my side, which I was impressed with. He doesn't have any hesitancy, and he's not scared to jump right in there, which I like. Being up that close to her at that point, uh, Gave me an impression of uh, how well she's built, <laughs> and uh, uh, I had to pretty much get down after that point. After the boat came in, we uh, came onto shore at the Weston Maui, and I had a local Hawaiian come and teach the guys how to make lathes. Uh-oh. You guys remember what I said earlier? Tio promised in the first round when I asked him his first name that he would reveal it the second round. <laughs> I, I have witnesses here. Somebody roll that tape back. I have to make it to the next round before I tell you. Oh. No, seriously. <laughs> I give you something real. My last name is Hale. It's spelled H-A-L-E. And that's all I give you to the next What's round. The first name? <laughs> Andrea cut next. I think Teal was coming the third wheel. I'd, I'd hate that to go up against him and, and uh, in the final round. Um, I think he'd, he'd be pretty tough to beat. Eliminate me right now. I'll, I'll, pour, I'll still pour another drink. It was fun. It was spontaneous, and that's what I live for. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Andrea going to eliminate next? Josh, Cody, or Teal? Well, here we are, guys. One more, the moment of truth. And um, I really was impressed with everybody this past time. Everybody was real comfortable and fun. But I think what I'm looking for a lot is a lot of spunk and energy. And I think that the only person that I thought a little bit lacking was Josh. Even though I have to say, I was very impressed with your lay. And yes. I'll have to give it back to you now. I had to eliminate somebody, so I'm That's sorry. Fine. Enjoyed it, Thank guys. you. Good luck. Good luck with you and your rodeoing. <laughs> I just figured Tio would be cut, but I mean, he's, he's he has got a lot of spunk. I don't know why I didn't get cut. I was like expecting to get cut. I was impressed with his lay, but um, just didn't have much of the sense of humor and personality that I like. She did leave a good cowboy behind. We're gonna go to a Hawaiian luau. I'm gonna have you guys learn the hula dance tonight. And so I've invited two girls here tonight, Henna and Noi. This is Cody and Tio. This next activity is gonna help me decide a lot. So I think that's really gonna 
Let me see who's gonna, who's got the talent, who's got the guts, who's got the finesse to win me over. So these girls are gonna show you exactly how to give me a message through your dancing, okay? Here we go. All right, <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Bye guys. Hasta ahora. But you're gonna start off with a few basic motions and that's all in the hips. So nice and soft. Yeah. Up and down. How can I say so like her eyes are beautiful like the ocean? Okay. I just wanna say that I had a great time. She's beautiful. Step. But guys do this as well? Mm -hmm. I can do this well. You can do You want me. One, two, one, two. Go on, go Start at the top, just. And you're gonna cross over your chest. Okay? Do you think you're ready now? Uh, I think so. <laughs> okay, you'll be fine. Not as ready as I can be. <laughs> I hope you win her heart. Good job! <laughs> realized exactly what they had to do and what was in store for them. Um, I sat down front row, center stage, and the guys were led outside to do their hula dance for me in front of the entire audience. I was like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? I had no idea that we we're, we're going to be in front of all these people. I perform on stage all week long, but that's, that's hardcore, man. I would like to welcome to the stage with your applause, our handsome Tio. I would point to her, this means you. <laughs> Across means fun. A scoop means adventure. This means beautiful to outline her body. But it worked, you know, I did my thing, so yeah, there it is. She was beautiful and that I thought, you know, she had beautiful eyes like the ocean. <laughs> that kind of ad lib, so uh, like this staying a lot bit, but uh, <laughs> uh, it was just something that just kind of came out of nowhere and uh, actually had relative meaning. Survived it and uh, I can uh, look back and laugh on it now and uh, unfortunately so can everybody else. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Will it be Tio or Cody? Andrea's final cut is next. Alamite. Before we make our final decision, or I do, I'm gonna ask you, are you ready to let me know your name now? Tio Hale. Oh, yeah. that's all we're getting. That's all you're getting. All right, today. well, I really, really, really enjoyed you guys on stage. I mean, I can't tell you how hard it was for me to finally come down to this decision tonight. But um, I am going to have to go with Cody. There it is. So, congratulations, you are my date. Maybe it had to do with my name. Maybe she wanted me to tell her my name on, on national TV. I'm sorry. That's not something I'm willing to give up. Tio had a lot of spunk, and he's just a little too outrageous for me. My name is Tio Hale. If you want to accept that, so be it. Sorry. Tony, that skirt just did it for me. <laughs> <laughs>